In January 2018, a bus crash changed a Houston County family's life forever. Zach Merchant tells us how they're coping with the loss one year later. Some Houston County students are recovering after a school bus crash this afternoon. One child was seriously injured and taken to the medical center Navison Health for treatment. Just into the 13 WMAC newsroom, Houston County Coroner Danny Galpin confirmed that the student who was seriously injured after yesterday's bus crash has died. It's been a year, but for Christopher Haynes, it might as well have happened yesterday. This has been probably the hardest year of my life. On January 29th, 2018, Christopher's six-year-old daughter, Arlana, was on her way home from Parkwood Elementary when her school bus crashed. She was ejected and badly hurt. She was taken to Medical Center Navison Health, where her father's lawyer, Teddy Reese, said in an attempt to save her life, doctors amputated her body up to her navel area. See her laying on that table like she was, it was... Something that I honestly can never forget. A day after the crash, though, her injuries proved too severe. Having your daughter die in your hands is something that I just honestly can't ever get over. The bus driver, Shalita Jackson Harris, was arrested nearly a month after the crash and charged with vehicular homicide and other charges, including reckless driving. Court documents allege she took a turn too fast on Forest Park Drive, which led to the crash. When you have other people cheering you don't hand, you just don't take those kind of chances. At the time, the Houston County Board of Education released a statement saying their thoughts and prayers were with Arlana's family and that the accident is still under investigation. But despite repeated requests, they never allowed a reporter to interview board leadership about what happened. Arlana's parents filed a civil suit against the school board for damages, and David Dozier, who represents Arlana's mother, Angelica Rose, said they've now reached a tentative settlement pending some final legal maneuvering. He wouldn't release the amount of the settlement, but he said although the suit had been tentatively resolved, not all of the parents' concerns had been addressed. We really haven't resolved a lot of the issues that I think the family was much interested in, which was, you know, answers of what they intend to do to prevent harm like this in the future. And a year later, when we asked them again for answers about this crash, the school board's response was largely the same. An emailed statement from district spokesperson Beth McLaughlin that read, quote, under the advice of legal counsel, we are not discussing anything pertaining to this bus accident due to litigation. Uh, if anything, I would want myself a year later to basically sit down with the Board of Education to see what kind of measures they have put in place to make sure that nothing like this happens again to anyone else's child. So far, though, Haynes says that hasn't happened. Still, through it all, he's tried to keep his faith. You know, God has a plan. And, there, you know, there has to be some reason why she was taken from us. But a year later, that answer is still the hardest one to find. In Warner Robins, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. A grand jury indicted Shalita Jackson on several criminal charges in May. Her case is still pending. She declined to comment for this story. Arlana's mother, Angelica Rose, also declined to speak on camera. Her attorney, David Dozier, did speak on her behalf. Today marks the one year anniversary of that crash and tomorrow is one year to the day Arlana died from her injuries. Her father Christopher is holding a memorial service tomorrow at 5 p.m. at Magnolia Park Cemetery. That's off South Pleasant Hill Road in Warner Robins. The public is invited.